Do you know why you're here, Mick? You know, Vibe, I think you completely misunderstand my situation. Oh yeah? Why don't you take me back to the beginning? Help me see through your eyes. Thank you so much for stopping. I am flat tire right now and this, this thing is all rusted up and it won't work. Do you happen to have a jack? I don't know if I'm exactly qualified to handle that sort of thing. I, I just need you to fix this jack or if you have one, I, I need to get going. My friend Bob, he's a district manager. He knows more about these sorts of things and he's right up the road. I'm sure he could take a look at your jack and maybe fix it. Okay, sounds good. Um, can I take this with me? Sure, uh, I guess that would be okay. You know, now that I think about it, this would be a perfect spot for a serial killer to come murder me. You know, come chop my body up in little bits and pieces, throw me in the woods. You know, you could just dissolve my body in marinara and nobody would know the difference. I mean, do you, do you want my help or not? I could just leave you here and you could wait for the next person if you think I'm a serial killer. All I'm saying is you could bury me six feet under cornmeal so the inspector doesn't find me. You know, I'm sure Bob will fix the situation. I'm just saying you just don't have to be an asshole. I'm already struggling on the side of the road, so. You tend to be a good guy and, and help me out, but really you're just being a dick. I just don't understand your attitude. I just, I just needed a little bit of help, and like, what are you gonna do with that? You, you gonna try to hit me with that? Like all great industrial giants, they started with small beginnings, with a humble promise and a friendly face to go with it. 1960, a small single brotherly run shop in Michigan with the promise of a 30 minute delivery time where the pizza was free. The owner himself would ride around in the backs of delivery driver's cars with a baseball bat, a symbol of American pride and pastime. To protect his own men from robberies, a true leader fights with his men on the front line. A certified icon, his business quickly boomed and brought fast food to the next generation of disgusting filth. But like all great men, they succumbed to their ambitions. In World War II, the German army, now paired with the Italians, experimented with pepperoni pizza. The idea was downright blasphemous, merging the sacred crust with Italian thin sliced meat was seen as heretical, but the people spoke with their wallets and their hard earned minimum wage. Business was booming. I always was fascinated by the makeup of the pizza. The perfect merging of cheese and bread with sauce, which leads me to one of the greatest inventions of Domino's, the cheesy bread. A hefty amount of mozzarella cheese mixed with a perfect blend of cheddar cheese. The world wasn't ready for it, but there it was. 
No one could imagine a food item could surpass the pizza. Surely, a work of art in your eyes? No, even greater, a product. Something the customer can see and taste, elevate their consciousness to a higher place. Hi. Hi. Who are you? Police. So, uh, what's going on? Uh, I, I see you're fond of shopping at Domino's Pizza. Did something happen at the Holbrook store? E-Hob acting up again? Uh, nothing happened at the Holbrook store. As of yet, uh, may I come in? Not without a badge. May I ask you a personal question? When was it exactly that your piece of the pie rewards expired? Uh, about six months ago. I bet with one phone call, I can reinstate your piece of the pie rewards and get you a free cheesy bread. You can reinstate? My Domino's rewards by calling the police department? <laughs> yeah, see, now, here's the part where I tricked you. Uh, I'm not actually a police officer. Uh-huh. I'm actually a Domino's delivery driver lady. What? I'm a Domino's driver lady. That's my friend Glenn. Hi, Glenn. You know Glenn? Yeah, sure. Glenn, great GM. Uh, now, now can I uh, come inside? I mean, for a cheesy bread. What can I lose? Come on in. Do you want a cup of marinara? Uh, no, no. That'll that'll be all right. Did you want some marinara? I had a guy right here. Why'd you uh, shut the door? You know, it's so damn humiliating being forced to wait outside, exposed time and time again, all while knowing I'm not getting a tip. I don't know why these things happen to me. These things happen to me all the time. Do you think it's fair? I mean, I can get you a garlic instead of the marinara. It's polite and respectful to leave a tip.
Excuse me, sir. What are you doing here? Uh, well, I was here to see Miss Smith. Uh, she doesn't appear to be home, or I... I've been here for two hours. Uh, I knocked on her door. I heard some commotion inside the house. I... I mean, I, I don't know what's going on, so... Alright, well... Then I'm gonna go take a look. Um, why don't you come with me? I want you to stay off the premises, but they're right over there. Okay. All right. Okay, officer. I'm gonna go yeah. check that out. Okay. I'm come on. Right. Maybe try the door. Maybe maybe the door's unlocked. Oh, 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 sir, sir, what are you doing? You, you can't be in here, you can't be in here, you have to get out of here. I just want to make sure, you better make sure that this place is inspected immaculately. Yeah, I, I, you impeccably. Can't, you, you can't be in here. Impeccably. You get out, all right, I'll, I'll check. The key to a sturdy structure is its foundation. But what lies beneath the foundation? To answer your question, Vibe, it all began when I was a boy. When I was born, my family did not have a spare bedroom for me in the house. So the inevitable conclusion is to send the boy to the basement. You really appreciate the pure function of the basement. You hear all the pipes draining the washer and dryer clunking around while the clothes are cleaned and dried, the water heater starting up, giving access to a warm shower for all the occupants of the home. The guts of the house in motion, not to mention the pure size of the common basement. It's almost overwhelming.
you so many things. It's an essential component of any home. It's so important that I believe there should be two basements in every home. This way, the possibility of recreational basement activity can be maximized to its fullest potential. When hunting, it's very important to be safe. So therefore, I knitted you this hat. It's for your safety. It fits great. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's a beautiful child you have, ma'am. I'd like to teach you something important in the tower. You can follow me. Having the high ground is very important when you're the predator. This is a Remington 700, standard rifle. It shoots 30-06. German snipers in World War II used to use this exact gun. In my opinion, this is the greatest rifle ever created. This one particularly. I will demonstrate how powerful this machine actually is. What are you aiming at? Pick a number. Close enough. <sighs> Today was a good day. During World War II, the Nazis were running low on many resources, especially food. They used MREs comprised entirely of cookies and brownies. This was determined by German scientists to be the most efficient way of providing them with nutrients and energy. Pure glucose. What's this obsession about the cookie brownie? Which brings me to the marbled cookie brownie. The perfect blend of cookie and brownie. I'm actually really proud of this one. Every time I create one of my products, I take a photo and mail it to my local Papa John's. I hear you have begun sending police evidence of your crimes, marked only with Mr. Fantastic as the sender. Where did this name come from? Mr. Fantastic. It's the perfect moniker. Every chef boy genius needs one. Especially when my products are so delicious, I would be jailed for them. 
the world just wouldn't understand. Your narcissism knows no end. Sorry to keep you all waiting. I know it's a little cold in here, but uh, I think it'll be worth it. Do you know what this is? This is a full metal jacket round. During World War II, the Nazis ran a lot of experiments to see with limited ammo supply, how many people they could kill for maximum efficiency. So today, in honor of these great experiments, these works of art, or you know, icons as I would say, I'm going to see if I can get this full metal jacket round through all of you. Excuse me, sir, I'm a military man. Yeah, and I'm a busy man. You got something to say? You said that's a full metal jacket round, right? Yeah, and? I know the difference between basic ammunition and, and military rounds. It won't do the job. Not a military round. You know, you're completely right. The box must have been completely mislabeled. This is not a full metal jacket round. God damn it. You know, uh, it's a little cold in here. Uh, I'll get something for you guys, hold on. Wake up. Hey, wake up. Yeah, what up, Nick? Andy. Yo. I bought a box of full metal jacket rounds. All right, does, what, does this look like? It's full metal jacket? Um, you know, to be honest, I can't really see. I'm kind of fucking bummed. Full metal right jacket. Now. The box was completely mislabeled. You're saying I, did I make a mistake, Nick? What's, what's the problem? I mean, that's not a full metal jacket round. I want I want a box of full metal jacket rounds. Okay, uh, do you have the receipt? I'm gonna need the receipt. Andy, really? I'm How sorry, long have I been coming here? I'm sorry, it's a company policy to uh, get a receipt before I can give you, you a, gotta be. a new box. I'm sorry. You gotta be. Oh, oh hey, well, Nick, what are you doing? You gonna take my I shit? bought a box of full metal jacket rounds and that's what I'm getting. Yeah, hello, uh, I've been robbed by Mick. Oh, hey, Mick. Come on in. Come on in, buddy. What's going on? Can I get you anything? You want some beer? Some shine? No, oh, thank you. Oh. oh, it's been a hell of a day. Oh. You want a shot of this? Uh, no, thank you. Oh. Yeah, my uh, RAV4 just broke down right up the side of the road, and uh, I don't have any cell signal and uh, I just
just I just walked all the way up here and uh, you know. Thank you. Come on over here, sit down, take a sip of this. It'll make you feel better. Yeah, take some of that. Whoa, Steve, what's going on here? I know it was you that robbed Andy's. I just heard it over the scanner. Whoa, okay. Okay, 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 you got me. I I robbed Andy, you got me. Thank you, Mick, for being honest with me. It'll be easier this way. So, you're gonna call the cops? You know it. You mind if I... I'm not going anywhere, you mind if I just... Sit down on the couch and, and relax. Take take a break before the cops show up. And just yeah. go ahead. I really appreciate this, Steve. I've had a hell of a day. You're a great guy. Yeah, it's Steve. Yeah, Mick is here. 42 Wallaby Way inside the camper. I'm sorry I have to do this to you, but it's the right thing. Get up slowly and follow me outside. Is that a full metal jacket round? <laughs> That's what I thought. It's time to go, my friend. Can I make pizza along the way? It's not permitted, but I'll allow it.
This is the level of hell for drivers who stole from the register. But don't worry, this level's not for you. What did these customers do to deserve this? These? These are the customers that never tipped. Hey, Bob. Where does this bridge lead to? That's the GM path. You know, Bob. You know, that only looks like about 10, 11 feet. I could probably make that jump. You can try, but no driver has ever made GM. Vibe, thank you for everything you've done, but I think I'm gonna give it a shot. Okay.